from storms to fire, Volusia County is joining five other Central Florida counties issuing a burn ban. That's right. This comes on the heels of a wildfire that burned more than 900 acres recently, as West Shoes Michelle Meredith reports. If you think what's happening in Volusia County doesn't impact you right now, you might want to think again. Close to 20 fires have lit up Volusia County since the beginning of the year. The largest, the Osteen fire, gobbled up over 900 acres. And while this fire is 95% contained, on Thursday, Volusia County's fire chief said enough. The grass is crunchy, the ditches bone dry. So for the first time in four years, he's issued a burn ban. People might not realize, you know, you light a campfire or you're, you're outside cooking and don't pay attention to your charcoal grill. You walk away for a minute and as dry as it is, a fire can, can move um, hundreds of feet in seconds. Volusia now joins the ranks of five Central Florida counties already under burn bans. On the not to do list for Volusia includes bonfires, campfires, burning yard debris and setting off fireworks. This is a time that I think we should really take it serious and just be, be very careful. You know, don't just think that it, it can't happen to me. Something else that's happening. Smoke is drifting from Volusia County to other counties affecting the air quality. In Central Florida, patients were complaining about irritation of the eyes, a nose. Dr. Jose Arias is an allergist and assistant professor at the UCF College of Medicine. If it's an irritant to our lungs, to our nasal cavity, uh, to our eyes, it just becomes an irritant and it's one of the triggers for asthma. Normally what I recommend for people to do, of course, is to stay indoors as much as possible and to keep the windows closed in their car and in their house. The good news, the threat of dangerous wildfires will end with the rainy season. The bad news, hurricanes also bring rain and usually more than we bargained for. In Volusia County, Michelle Meredith, West 2 News.